Hello, in this video I want to take a look at the coolest sword in the game, Meophage, and I would hopefully like to craft a Giga Sword for my Void Knight. And I prepared uh, these mods specifically, I would like to get these. And good thing is I was able to double the sword, also I have a few spare with some usable mods. This actually I for it to craft. So keep in mind that these swords like they are not craftable at my level. This is just 53, it's a fresh reel, alright. So for your void knight, it's best to have well, like a level 100 character or something that already can run monoliths and corruption. So you can easily farm these rings, for example. So this sword right now is not too bad already, but this is just with some random shatter with one good mode, increased mid damage, right? So I was farming my main character with high level to get some swords and craft on them. And the best sword I currently have is should be this one. But if you if you check the modes like this weapon so this weapon, what, what does it do? It will take the shards from the shattering and add the uh, affixes to the to the sword. Those are the red ones, right? But this is kind of like early early game item because it doesn't look better than this one. This should be the main weapon for the Void Knight, but it can be something insane with these mods if it will be a lucky shatter i already have a real good start on this character like i have some insane leveling gear like this skull huge void damage this is huge void damage Crit for void skills what else the boots yeah void damage and some basically random gear you can say like okay this is gg belt let's say but still this is like i cannot even forge it yet right it's it's uh it needs higher level for improvements i will start with these wars kind of swords like this is huge multiplier i don't know huge multiplier and region but i would rather have the void penetration if possible i couldn't get the four usable modes like i don't want to frailty the chance to apply frailty i don't even know what it is this is my second character who cares i was playing the leech before the kind of ghost flame leech with infernal shade as kind of main damage and the void knight oh my god this is just so much better this is 100 times more fun and my dps at level uh, about 30 was basically almost the same as my level 100 character but it's it's a tanky ward stacking leech so that's like the main difference this is uh this is glass can build but the damage is amazing and the fun oh my god i fucking love how they are uh, done the melee in this game it's fucking insane when you maybe want to compare it to a fucking Path of Exile, it's a, it's a fucking sad comparison, really. This is so much better game. Also, before you have this, this sword, you should go with something like this. This is insane for leveling the, the Void Knight. So let's break this one with, I don't know if this help. So... This is tier 7 crit, tier 7 crit and only tier 2 void penetration, this is also a uh, plus 1 skills, so that's huge, alright, I'm pressing it, it's the time, it's time, let's go, 8 shards, I don't know, oh, oh, I got the, I got the thing that I wanted, huh, what's my damn, what's, I should, I should go and test some damage. Um, and I don't know. Let's just pop some monsters. Pop twenty-two. Hmm. Pop twenty-nine thousand. And my basic attack is like five hundred. Well, I'm not happy with this. It's just two modes. 
it's just two modes you can have four you can have five if you have the sealed affix on the weapon let's continue shattering holy now it can be used actually so yeah it's just luck if i get more shards or less shards let's let's continue shatter nine should be better than luck it's only two. Oh, this is so bad it's uh tier one tier two this is not good so this was very unlucky so let's go to the giga swords i wonder if i would get more shards with a higher level character but i hope that really doesn't matter it shouldn't matter right so let's try this one and i'm missing one sword hold up i need one more with the with the flat void damage too light for that too light let's shatter this one and too bad that i only 16 look at that shit i only have one mirror of age i only was able to find one i i don't it's so fucking rare and and i kind of like this 16 shards how much is that uh tears four three four five so my it's of the full penetration but only 70 17 could be 22 actually fuck but hey it's not home it doesn't it doesn't look bad this is this is what i wanted basically this is everything i wanted from the sword <laughs> is my damage up mm. I think it's the same as it was, but this is uh, with the penetration. The multiplier is uh, raising the damage. And uh, 243? Hold up, hold up. Something's off here. Create multiplier. Something's off here. Hold up. I have to have more because the passives. Where's, where's the this one? Is this bugged? What the fuck? This should be 43, right? So, hold up. Critical save multiply 43. What's going on? I should have double that. It, this should be almost 300 now. So definitely the sword adds it. Right? it, it it's clearly changed, but I don't know what the fuck is going on with this one why does it not i will take the essence because this helps with uh, mana so i will just add two points here who cares that's good okay so this is now 45 okay and holy shit this is now but i clearly see that now my points were higher but maybe i maybe something's bugged i don't know my damage went up by the multiplier and by the penetration it went up greatly but if i if i just look at the sword this weapon will be super anyway definitely so i think you cannot have um the legendary mods on this one it would be crazy if you could oh my god that would be just fucking ins stupid and insane i would definitely go and farm try to find more <laughs> swords like it's such a cool concept but still like i pick a sword from the ground i go here oh let's let's do this if i click this my weapon is trash like this is good sword obviously the same one but any sword from the ground and obviously obviously you don't think about this uh function so you just click that shutter and your weapon is gone basically right so be very careful with that probably you are just best to just hide the swords from the filter just don't even think about it just hide every trash sword don't think about it don't pick it up or just make sure that your playstyle is um no shattering any exalted items basically you ignore everything else and when you pick the exalted item you just store it in the in your stash forever to be forgotten and useless right 
So, I think my damage is lower. <laughs> I don't see the... Um, hold up, let's wait for the buff. I don't see the 29,000 I was doing before. I need my... It's 27 now. It went down. What the... F Dude. The f I'm so I'm so mad. I'm I'm so mad. Twenty eight point eight. Close. Oh, okay. So let's say in the higher level maps, the void penetration may um thirty one. Yes, godlike craft. Okay, it works. It's better. <laughs> G -G -G. So yeah, uh, lucky craft. A sixteen shards on the one. Like this is what a tier six. It's such a difference, it's two times more. Like, do I go for it? Because I don't need the increased void damage, right? I have, um, how much? 600, right? I would pretty much love to have uh, the all of the kit multiplier, but this is also a small value. It's not the 150 I uh, broke before, or shattered, if you will. So, I don't know. Huh. But... Well, in conclusion, definitely very fun item. Very, uh, basically, literally, it means full customization for um for your build. Do any build, use uh prepare your sword and then slam it here. Oh well, shatter it and hope for the best. And even the sword has uh 100 and 170 increased damage roll, so this one is not good. Less damage taken while reaching. It's a minimum roll. So this is the worst roll for this item, basically. And I should uh, mention that you can find it from the runic prisons, from the um, runic mage or whatever it's called. The the purple things that has kind of seal on it and you click it and the mage boss begs from that and he can drop you this sword. So yeah, you want to find the symbol on the map. That that's what you wanna do. I was farming it, uh, farming it in monoliths, but it was like so painful. It was maybe six, eight echoes to find one of them, and I think uh, in the campaign in these maps, it was like every two maps was containing the the Merunic mage. So echoes. Might be not best place to farm it. I would suggest even dungeons or just just do campaign. I don't know, really, just do campaign. Dungeon should be dungeon should be actually best place. If if you will be running for, with the um, high level character to find the running mages and then also to craft the swords and just um, run some dungeons. But like as I said. This sword seems fun, looks uh, amazingly strong, but like it's insane. Of course, it's also a plus one to, um, to all my skills, sure. But, well, for the Void Knight, you put the weapon of the win with the six win modes and also ring with the six uh, win modes. So, easy, easy game, easy Void Knight. And the character, I, I repeat, this is so much fucking fun. But... Yeah, my movement speed is slow, right? You you want to you want to move in this game, right? And the, be the game doesn't really offers them option to move, so just click on the trainer plus 16 options. Yeah, click on the movement speed. Use the times two multiplayer movement speed. Be happy and have fun blasting in this game, playing offline, and you don't need to care for fucking trade or anything, right? I mean, yeah. You could buy the swords from the trade. Okay, yeah, but that's what for bitches. That's for little bitches. Find the sword and you will find more swords using the fucking trainer with double, triple movement speed, whatever. Nobody, nobody is gonna, nobody's gonna, you know, sentence you for that. Just, this is game for fun and speed is fun, bro. Let's see it. Just, you know, look at the difference. I'm dead. Be yeah, but I can, I will show you how fast I can be back. <laughs> okay, let's go. Where was I? Ah, uh, maybe here. Yeah, the game is already, what, 10 times better, right? It's just a double movement speed, bro. It's just double. I should not be cheating. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Who raised you? Fuck you. It's a video game. You can make it whatever you want. That's... 
what the RPG is literally for and about. So you want to go faster, then just click it and go faster. Fuck you. Yeah.